So I was on the internet, as one is uh, nowadays, especially when you're locked at home, and I came across this video, and actually a series of videos, about how to track smartphones for free. Um, and let me tell you something, knowing what I know about tech, I was kind of appalled. Even more scary is some of these videos have hundreds of thousands or even millions of views, and they're telling you to do something that I would never have you do. As a matter of fact, I think that the reason some of these videos do so well is because people don't know the power of their smartphone and what's already a part of what they've purchased. They think they need to download apps from other app stores or go to sketchy websites and download things. Trust me when I tell you, what I'm gonna tell you here today not only will help you track and find your phone for free, it will keep you 100% safe. In addition, I'm gonna teach you something about your phone that you may not be aware. Yes, we can see where you were years ago. I'm not even kidding. And I'll show you how, right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. <laughs> What up, players? Welcome back, and for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. So I guess some people want to be able to find smartphones anywhere, anytime for free. Now, I'm going to divide this into two things. Number one, finding your own smartphone, which I think there's a lot of legitimate reasons for this, and then how to find other people's smartphones, which I am unsure of. Now, law enforcement may have a need for this, especially if someone goes missing or something like that, so let them use their technology. There are a couple of sites that will allow you to find people basically based off of their phone numbers and IMEIs and stuff like that. I'm not super comfortable discussing that stuff because I believe legality in different countries and states is a little bit different. So I'm. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get no one uh, stalked. I'm not trying to do that. I will say that it is possible to trick someone into telling you where they are, which I am again not a fan of. But I think it's important to show you how it's done, so that you can avoid having it done to you. So let's first talk about that, and then we're gonna get into all the ways you can find your own phone, which I think is a much safer and a much more legitimate thing. Number one, when someone sends you pictures of things. Be wary, especially if they're just acquaintances or people you've never met before. So you may have heard a bunch of viruses that have been able to be sent through pictures, or maybe you're not aware of this. Let me tell you, it's scary out there, which is why it's so important to be able to update your phone with the latest security patches, both on Android and iOS. Of course, iOS happens all the time. Android depends on your manufacturer and of course, your, uh, t your telephone company, I and mean, sometimes they're in the way. Regardless, you should always stay up to date because there are vulnerabilities in these phones that are taken advantage of every single day. However, this one may never be patched because it's not really a vulnerability. Shout out to my friend, Lee Ron. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description below. He actually has a video on this exact thing, so I'm just gonna give the 30,000 foot view. If you want a much more detailed look in this first thing, I'm gonna leave you a link. Make sure you go check him out. Basically, what happens is someone will go to this particular website and use a URL shortener, which is something that you take a really long URL and then shorten it down to something smaller. And what you can do is find a picture somewhere on the web, on the web anywhere, it doesn't matter what the picture is, put it into that URL shortener and then send it along to the person. Now, nine times out of 10, especially if they kind of know who you are, you can say, hey, look at this picture. They click on it, cool, they saw a picture, whoop de doo Right? Well, on the back end, this website will tell you their IP address and give you a general idea of where they are on a map. Like, that's kind of creepy. So basically, if someone sends you a URL, especially if you're not really good friends with them, maybe you just don't click it. Because once you've clicked it, you are in that website's clutches. And now people can follow you. And if they're your latest Tinder date, you might, you might not you might not want that. That aside, there's plenty of reasons why you might wanna be able to find your own phone. Perhaps you lost it, maybe it was in an Uber, maybe you went to a party and you blacked out drunk and you don't remember where it is. Uh, give me a thumbs up down below if you're one of the party animals that's lost uh, your phone once before. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. And leave me a comment below and tell me what other ways you could lose your phone or need to be able to find it, even if you haven't necessarily lost it, maybe it was stolen or something. Leave me a comment below and let me know one of your stories. I'm sure it'll be interesting. But you should know this, both Android and iOS already have this ability built in. You do not need to download apps. And one of the things that these videos and websites tell you to do are to go to these really sketchy websites and install 
or in one of the videos it shows injecting uh, apps into your phone. Let me just be clear about this. You should never, ever, 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 ever install an app from some website, some random website and put it on your phone. Many of us have things like our bank apps, our, our Amazon apps, like everything, our home addresses, phone numbers, everything. And you have no idea what that app can do. There are apps that can steal all of that stuff and send it to someone else. And I know you don't want that. And as a matter of fact, that can happen on your own Wi-Fi. But lucky for you, I've teamed with Trend Micro and they can save you from that. Check this out. You probably think that just putting antivirus on your computer and having a network router is enough security. But the reality is there's millions of attacks on home networks every single year. And the Trend Micro home network security can completely fix that for you. You might think having a router and antivirus on your computer is enough security, but let me tell you it's not. You have tons of smart devices in your house that need protection. And the Trend Micro home network security has you covered. As a matter of fact, it's so simple to set up that you can have your kids do it. They're probably better at it than you anyway. All you have to do is plug it into your router, download the app, and you're off to the races. This thing is amazing. In the app, you can actually see not only every single device that's connected to your network, but whenever a new device connects. So if someone's trying to drive by and hack your Wi-Fi, you'll see it and you can deny it on the spot. You can manage every single device from your phone or your tablet as long as you have the app installed. That is security anywhere in the world, even if you're not home. It provides powerful and flexible parental controls, such as controlling social media, blocking inappropriate websites, setting time limits for your kids, and much, much more. It blocks malicious websites and files, protects against viruses and hackers, and provides firewall protection on all connected devices, unlike antivirus, which only protects the one device it's installed on. So special thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the description below, so if you want to purchase one, I have a little special deal there for you, so make sure you go check it out and get it today. Your security is worth so much, it's time to get secure. So then how do you find your phone? Well, there's a couple of things. Number one, there's the Find My iPhone on iPhones. Now, if your phone itself is lost, you literally can go to your computer, log into the, your iCloud account, and do the Find My Phone. This becomes a little bit sketchy if you have two-factor authentication on, which you probably should have, and you can't authenticate because your phone is elsewhere. So hopefully you have already done that, logged into one of the browsers somewhere in your home so that if this ever happens, you can get into it. If you have an iPad or something like that already, then you're already good to go. But if you don't, I highly suggest right now, go and log in on one of your computers to iCloud.com Get yourself two-factor authenticated so that if you ever need to find your phone, you can. And then it's pretty simple. You just click find my iPhone. You can erase it. You can uh, ring it. You can do all types of things. You can see where it was last. Super, super clutch. And that's for iOS. But what about Android? It's actually even perhaps simpler than that. Just go to Google and type in find my phone. And it literally comes up. It's, it's pretty simple. And it'll show you all the stuff about where it is, what the type of phone it is, and you can ring it, erase it, do all the things like they did on the my, Find My iPhone. But here's something that's really interesting about this. And a lot of you may have noticed that you've actually even had this enabled, and it's good to have enabled. But there's something else that Google Maps specifically is doing that you need to be aware of. I've talked about this before, but it seems like whenever I do videos about privacy, no one really watches them. But let me tell you, you're gonna wanna know about this right now. Did you know? that if you've had an Android phone, or at least a phone with Google Maps, and that could include iPhones, that um, you can look at where you've been pretty much any year you've had that phone. I can look back to 2018 or even before and see what my day was like. Yes, it'll even tell me if I was driving or walking years ago. I don't know if you're paying attention to this. I'm making this video in 2020. That was two years ago, and it knows where I was. Now, sometimes it's not exactly super accurate, but it is stupid accurate. Uh, and you may not be aware that this is a thing you can turn off. Um, there are some settings you can turn off. I'll, I'll show you some of that here. But let me just say this one and very important thing. Google knows everything about you. And like I've said about privacy a million times, the minute you have a smartphone or you have any kind of life online, you have no privacy. So just assume that this sort of thing is going on all the time because it kind of is. Ever look something up on Amazon and nowhere else and then all of a sudden you're getting ads for it on Instagram and Facebook? Ever wonder how that happens? Ever say something one time and then go to your Facebook or Instagram and start getting ads for it? Ever go somewhere 
and then start seeing ads for places that are nearby, even though you've never been there before. Yes, my friends, you have no privacy. And yes, you can, of course, get your phone, but the reason you can find your phone with free apps is because you have no privacy. It's kind of one of those Ouroboros things where it's the snake eating itself. You don't get one without the other. So leave me a comment below. Are you gonna keep your location information on? Do you need to be able to find your, your phone at any time? Or do you, does it make you feel really creepy that all of a sudden you can see where you were years ago? Like maybe some of you don't wanna remember those things. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think about that? Also, I got some other videos. If you're new to this channel, I appreciate you coming by. I got some really cool videos here. Make sure you check them out. See you next time. Peace and love.